Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be doing back off coffee wintergreen pouches. So uh, let me put these in. So this is what the um, inside looks like. Um, it comes with 20 pouches, 20 uh, coffee wintergreen pouches. Um, I, uh, I don't know if um, these have caffeine in it. I'm gonna check on the side. No, I don't think it does. I don't think these do have caffeine in it, so. Um, it's getting a little bit late right now. It's like 12 o'clock or something like that. So I'm going to be going to sleep soon. So I just decided to um, to try putting some of these. Um, this is the first time I've ever had a you know, coffee uh, chew. I know they have some, more, some other type of uh, chew um, that is coffee. That's a non-back-off brand. Um, and so... Um, so this is the first time I've ever had coffee pouches. I actually think I had coffee pouches once um, over at uh, Wachusa Mountain. I used to go skiing when I was younger. I think I was on the chairlift with someone and they offered it to me and I think I did it. Um, I'm not necessarily sure what's inside the pouches. The uh, coffee pouches, I don't know if they put like tea leaves or I don't even know. I'm trying to find them on the side. Well, the part where it said the ingredients are got ripped off, so. Um, what I first noticed right away is that it's got a very uh, strong coffee slash wintergreen taste. They kind of like mix together and mix in to make um, to make it a good flavor. Um, one thing I did notice about these is I usually, well, I usually put in two pouches. Um, and one thing I noticed about these is they don't last like entire like really, really long, uh, really long time. They only last for about like, uh, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes because it's, I guess because it's a pouch, I'm not really sure. Um, the pouch has like a decent amount of, I don't know if they put coffee beans or, it's made from some sort of formula that they put in there. Um, like if you haven't seen the other back off video I made, um, I got five of these recently in the mail. Um, I like the design on this. It's got the brown um, coloring and then the green for wintergreen. Of course, these are no tobacco, no nicotine. Um, so I got five of these um, in the mail. Uh, I got five of these in the mail. I got five different cans in the mail. I got this. I got fine cut wintergreen extra. I got original fine cut extra. No, not extra. Sorry, fine cut original energized. Um, and then I think I just picked up this, and then I got original uh, rough cut. No, rough cut mint, rough cut wintergreen. Sorry. Huh. Um, the taste is pretty good. Taste. It's got a good taste to it. Um, I like the, the wintergreen. It's like a, it's nice. It's like, you would think that like a coffee and a wintergreen wouldn't be that good. You would think that it wouldn't be that like, like with a good taste, but it mixes pretty well actually, which is impressive. Um, overall, I'm really liking these products or this can of, you know, pouch, the wintergreen pouches. I'm liking the overall product. It's just a good it's a good product it's good um uh, they have all sorts of other they have four i think it's four i'm not positive i think i remember here seeing that they had four other coffee flavors of uh, vanilla mocha and i can't remember the other ones i think i i got the sample pack um sample pack in the mail about a week or two ago when i first found out about these and I'm pretty sure I tried every f flavor of coffee that they had. I don't, it was vanilla. I remember trying vanilla. I remember trying mocha. 
Um, yeah, it's got a good taste to it. Um, I can see how these could be like kind of addictive in a way because you're trying to like you're trying to dip a lot and you just put it slip in a pouch and just like spit on it. It's pretty. It's pretty good stuff. Um, the whole thing about the no tobacco and no nicotine is kind of hard for someone like me because I'm used to dipping like Grizzly Wintergreen, Grizzly Mint. Grizzly's my favorite dipping brand. I just just a personal preference. My favorite. I like the Grizzly Wintergreen. I like Grizzly Straight. I like Grizzly Mint, um, and so, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to, uh, to do this if there's no tobacco, no nicotine, is like what I said. Um, I'm more of like a Grizzly dipper, to be honest. My favorite type of dip is, uh, Grizzly Wintergreen. So when I have that, I'm pretty much in, like, my own zone. I feel good. I really like having that, so... Um, I can get it, so, I'm trying to think, these, yeah, these don't last for very, very long, they're like a 10, 15 minute, um, dip, uh, just felt like making this video, uh, I'm gonna try and get more back off, uh, in the mail to try and review, or, I call it, I just call it just, you know, put it in and then just tell you what I think of it, it's pretty good, uh, but I'm trying to get some more in the, in the mail, um, to, you know, just enjoy it, get some in the mail, and, uh, and try and review some more, because these are actually, um, very good, and, uh, I had a hard time, like, trying to get over the fact that they're not nicotine, that they're not tobacco, and it's like, but then once you get used to it, it's like, it's fine, you know. Trying to get a new mud jug, um, this is, uh, my orange one. Um, sorry, hold on. My, uh, 20% low battery thing just came up. Sorry about that. So, I'm trying to get another mud jug if I can. Uh, they're not that expensive, so. Um, as I'm just letting it sit there, the juices are starting to build up and it's starting to run out a little bit. I just got this, like, three or four days ago, and I still haven't finished the can yet, but it's, like, I'd rather... Personally, I'm not more. I'm not a pouch pouch dipper or a pouch user. I, I just I like the, um, the the long cut or they call it and back off the rough cut. So that's why, I like when I when I was online, um, I ordered. I was like, oh well, I have to order. Um, I'm gonna order pouches. It's gonna have to be a really unique flavor, a really cool flavor. Um, so I was like, oh, alright, well, coffee, wintergreen, I just, I was like, alright, I'm gonna try that. Um, and I, no, I wasn't disappointed, I'm not disappointed. Um, that's when I was like, alright, well, I gotta, um, I gotta get a different type of coffee my next time I buy from them. Um, I'm gonna try, I think vanilla, I tried vanilla, it was, I tried some coffee pouch, um, I, tr I tried some coffee pouch and, uh, by back off in the sample pack and it literally tasted like your, like a coffee, like, um, lick, like a, like it's actual coffee that you're spitting out. It was very, very strange the first time I tried it. I was in my living room. I put it in and I was like, oh wow, this should be fun. This should be good. And then I, I put the, you know, the coffee the coffee dip in and it's like it just tastes like a cup of coffee it was strange i don't know what they're made out of entirely why i would make it like that but that's the way it is yeah so this is it um it's got on the side um all the ingredients and stuff my last video i said fdi compliant which was a mistake it's fda compliant I don't know why. I think I was just skimming through it really fast. I didn't realize it. So, not even really sure exactly what FDA compliant means. Maybe it's just that's just the way it's supposed to be made. I don't know. That makes it safe. I don't know. <clears throat> so.
so I'm not really noticing that much of a buzz. I don't know what would be in here that would make it a buzz, give you a buzz. So actually, probably when I um, when I probably when I get off the video, I'm gonna have to do some uh, a, a non nicotine pouch. Um, just because I don't really like the fact that like. I want to stay up a little bit later, and these aren't really doing much for like a uh, a stimulant effect because I don't think there's anything in here that's stimulate stimulating. Um, yeah. So I hope everybody's doing good. I hope everyone's having a great night. Um, I don't. I went like two months without making YouTube videos, and then I like realized I had to. Uh, well, I don't realize I just wanted to make another video. So if you're someone trying tobacco, or someone who does tobacco, this is like gives the you know appearance or not appearance the you know simulation if you would call it uh, same exact thing but without nicotine. And I know nicotine is the reason why most people dip tobacco. And so if you don't have any stimulants in this. You're probably not going to want to do this if you're, like, looking to stay up or you just want the nicotine fix, so. Yeah, I say it in all my other videos. Uh, nicotine is an addictive chemical, so don't don't start it if you haven't already. Um, probably got about, like, two or three minutes left, so. Yeah, when I dip, like, in general, I like to um, press it at the bottom of my lip. Um just to get the, the juices building. There'll be some times where I'll have like a grizzly long cut, grizzly wintergreen long cut, and I'll uh, put it in my lip and I'll let it sit there um, and just kind of just let the juices build. But most of the time, for some whatever reason, I don't do that. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking about going to the store tomorrow and uh, possibly buying some energy drinks I don't know what I'm gonna get. Uh, I, I'm drinking C4 sometimes. I know a long time ago I made C4 videos. I think two two of them, but I held the camera uh, the other way around, so so it's a little bit different now at this view. So um, this angle. Yeah. So overall, these are good. I wish there was nicotine in it, or I wish there was caffeine in it. But I don't think there is. Because I don't really feel much... I feel... I don't know what it is, but... It's not that strong is what I'm trying to say. It's not that strong of a... Of a product of a dip. It's getting late, like I said. when And when I get to, like, 1 or 2 in the morning, I like to put in some nicotine. I like to do the pouches probably in a little bit. Uh, just doing this just to, like, enjoy the... It's, it's enjoyable. Yeah, the taste is starting to get a little bit stale, and usually when that happens with dip, um, it means you should um, you should just be almost done. So most of the time on these videos, I kind of just finish the dip after the video is made, created, and then I just you know then I'll just but with this, um, it's just about done. So so. Yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I know I kind of talked a long, a while about this, but they're out of, uh, where the hell is it? Selma, Selma, Alabama. AL, which is Alabama, I'm assuming. Um, it's a good product. It's, you know, I would say if you're going for the coffee pouches, Maybe try the vanilla, because the vanilla definitely tastes a little bit better. But coffee, wintergreen, you know, you mix coffee and wintergreen in a dip, you're going to have some kind of a little bit of an experimental process in a way, so. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an experimental process, definitely, because I've never even heard of that brand, be, those two flavors being mixed, so. This is the back off coffee pouches. Um, 20 pouch, is it 20 pouches? It doesn't say, I think it was 20 pouches. That's what it looks like in there. Um, 
and that's what the ne the gross the rest of it looks like. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Overall, uh, pick this up if you're looking to just have something to spit on, something to dip. I mean, get on their website. You can just Google their name and find them. Um, not my favorite in the five uh, cans that I got, but it, it did. It, it was fine for a little dip. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys.